So, I don't know, I'm really happy for him, though. And I met the girl, I think, once. I don't know, we never really talked, but... It seemed okay, I guess. <laughs> According to him. I'm not gonna get off the subject of this marriage. I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, it's not for another month, almost, but... I'm a little nervous, though, because I've never been to a friend's wedding and really known what to wear. I mean, I'll probably just go in a, some button-up t-shirt. And, uh, oh my god, oh, speaking of which, I forgot my goddamn sweater at work. Jesus, that's the worst. I knew, I knew I was forgetting something, and I'm not gonna be there for another three days, damn it. Well, to the Cave of Snarls we go, I suppose. That's really disappointing. I have to go back to work before I know it. Actually, I need to look at my schedule and pick up my other paycheck. I'm pretty notorious for not picking up my paychecks on time. Like, we get weekly paychecks every Thursday. And, um, I just need to pick up mine since they're starting to build up and, uh, get those cashed, probably. It's way too much effort to try and, uh, to get it all situated so I get direct deposit. <laughs> Alright, get out of here, puppy blowhog. If, if this game will be kind to me, you will actually hold the key I, de I deserve. Oh my god, was that our Pikmin or was that... Oh god. I think... I thought it looked like the Puffy Blowhog was the one who landed on the Sheer Grub there. Come back. Alright, um, and... Nothing, I guess. Alright, fine. Fine, I guess we'll destroy this withering Blowhog who will laugh at us. Oh, Sheer Grub. Yeah, oh, Sheer Grub. What are you gonna learn? Are you not gonna get this? You're not gonna get this. Right, let's go. Oh, hey, check it out. Why did the withering blowhog have that? That's unusual. <laughs> that dandelion's underground. I don't think that's your native habitat there, son. God, get over here. Quit being a dummy. Quit being a dumbzo. So, so yeah, on the little RSVP thing, the little card they sent, it was like, RSVP names, and then yes or no, or I mean, I think it said accepts and regrets. <laughs> it's like, yes, I regret informing you, or I regret to inform you that I will not be attending this wedding. But it also said, um, song requests, which is really weird. And I was, I was like this close to putting one of my own songs on there, and he would have been like, what the fuck? I don't even think he knows I'm in, like, music. Like, I hate to say it like that, because I'm not really, I don't feel like I am. I just make music and hopefully show people who might like it. I mean, I'm not doing it as a career. I mean, that would be nice, but I don't want to have to deal with the pressures and obligations of, you know, needing to promote myself, and that was dumb. That was, this is a terrible idea. But, um, I've just been, I don't know. I think people would call, call me either modest or really stupid, because I don't put myself out there. Complete, wow, that was a weird slide. So, I don't know. It might just be me. It might just be you. He, of course he didn't have it. What gives? Okay, well, who does have it then? Does this female shit grub have it? No. She just has feathers for some reason. Why are they dropping feathers? Oh, if it's this ass cell. So. Hey, hey, buddy. You wanna, you wanna come over here and pick on someone your own size? Alright, if this withering blowhawk has it, I'm gonna flip somebody's lid. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me right now? Why why does the withering bullhog have it, but not the puffy bullhog? You would think the larger, more menacing of the two would possibly have the key to getting out of this place. I don't know. It might just be me. It might just be you. It might just be Yuko and Hiro. It might be Dan Abnormal. It might just be... I don't know. Entertain me, I guess. All right, let's get out of here. I'm done with this place. I am so done. And I, I, you know, I can almost record the entirety of this tonight. That'd be really nice. So we should probably just run to work and get things. It's still a sleepyhead edition, technically. Um, but people are going to start coming home soon. <laughs> Namely, my brother. He's probably just going to crash. I haven't seen him in, like, a day. But apparently he has some card tournament in Seattle or something. I don't know if he's still going to that, because it's a day he works, typically. But <sighs> this is all just nonsensical... Uh, things that has no relevance to you guys whatsoever because you have absolutely no concept of my life as I know it and sweet Jesus I don't like the look of this the Giants bath we have 50 blues and five red potions but two floors I'm assuming let's take a look Toady Bloister maybe I don't think so 
That would be... Actually, that would make sense. The ranging boister here. I mean, because we've got tiles and only blues. Huh. Oh, check it out. They just find jelly floats. Excellent! And that was another thing me and my buddy always did. Like, we would always just, like... We would just quote things incessantly, like, Katie, and then we do, like, the Bill and Ted excellent thing. It's like, excellent! Yeah, hey. It's like, playing co-op games with him was the best. Like, oh, we used to play Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, that, that game was the shit back then. That and, like, just, like, Doom 3. Like, he specifically bought a second copy so that we both can play on our own screens. And it was it was pretty intense, insane. It was amazing living living together with your best friend, you know. <sighs> but then we grew up, and I then he turned into a pothead, <laughs> and then I remained exactly the same. I'm pretty pretty uh, similar to how I was right out of high school. Give it give or take a couple of things, I guess. I mean, I don't know. can we kill this guy, please? Is it possible to murder him? He may have the key to our heart. And I would like him to die so that we can steal it from him and claim it for ourselves. Here, up the butt, right there. Nothing? Does a jelly splatted jelly float happen? Is it this guy? Would you care to die? Good sir, I'm trying to, you know, reminisce about, oh god, about heartbreak and friendship. And did you take one of my people? Did you take one of my people? He didn't, okay. I was afraid I was gonna have to, like, actually for once redo a dungeon, since so far we've gone through, what, a, like, half of this without a single Pikmin casualty. Just a reminder, I don't think I've mentioned this since the first episode, I'm doing this completely blind. I have absolutely no concept of what this game wants of me, but I don't know. It's not very difficult. Um, in case you guys are watching this for whatever reason and you haven't seen the main series, that I did on Pikmin 2, uh, we actually went through that and uh, without taking a single Pikmin casualty. I've only had to re-record, I think, twice and all. There is a toady bloister in this complete back-ass room! God damn it. God damn it, game. God damn it. Alright, bring your stupid treasures over here because, well, we wasted like three million things just... Ah. I'm, I'm, it's fine, it's okay, but I mean... I just wish it wasn't the one area I just didn't happen to look. Okay, back to my previous train of thought. Uh, we beat Pikmin 2, 100%, without a single Pikmin casualty, and notably, we actually went through the submerged castle without seeing the Water Wraith once on any of the floors up until the boss fight, because he is mandatory to beat. And so, let's get out of here, let's go. Let's do this, shall we? Let's kill this sass. Hey, hey buddy, we're not gonna bounce off you. Ooh, this is actually really bad. Where are you being thrown to, Pikmin? Okay. Right. Yeah, Toady Bloisters really are pretty non-lethal, as long as you know what you're doing. And you go, there you go. It's like, you know what you do, you know what happens when you play near the Toady Bloisters extremity area? You get you get knocked back in the face. Let's take rubber ugly. What is this even a, a thing? Clam. We need ten for that. Twenty. Never mind. Is this right where we spawned? God. I don't I don't like I don't like tile areas. I really don't. Oh, excuse me. I keep getting like air in my throat, it's weird. Alright, can we leave? There we go. I don't like I don't like being under the water. It's not very fun. Water in this game does look pretty good for uh, GameCube standards though. Like, even though Sunshine came out like two years before this and it looks worse than Sunshine, it's still not too bad, so. Oh, those guys are still over there. You guys can work on that indefinitely as I just leave you. Leave you to your ambitions. So long, my friends. So many of you got deflowered. How... Blue Pikmin. You gotta be letting me down left and right here. Oh, great. Yep. Yep, the Ranging Bloister. Call it unless... <gasps> if this is... Please, please don't be the... Okay, it's this guy. Thank God. Okay, I was gonna say, please don't let it be the other guy because I suck at fighting that guy. All right, hey, you wanna come over here? I know you want some nice juicy Louie, even though we never had Louie before fighting him the first time. We had Mr. President. Hey, hey, right over here. Whatever, I know you like some, uh, you know, cheeky, bony, nice, nice Louie over here. Surprisingly low in protein, but you know what? You want that vitamin D? Louie's got you covered. Or should I say vitamin G? I don't know. 
Let's get rid of this guy, though. Ooh, wow, actually, good shot. Good aim. What was his backside there? Wow, did we just do a chunk of damage? That was weird. That was my eyes are just sucking right now. It's, it might be because I haven't worn glasses in like years and years and years, but by God, they slide off my face like incessantly. Like when I first got them, they were they whoop, they fit very oddly. Don't even think about it. But at least they would like stay up on the rim of my nose or ridge, I guess. They would stay up on my on my nose, but now they just are constantly sliding, even behind my ears. I don't know, maybe I don't know how to glasses correctly. There we go. It was like perfect. It was perfect, Dad. And that was our last four, I believe. So yet again, another um deathless Pikmin row completed. Um, I don't know why they left whites here. Maybe if you need whites for whatever reason? That seems completely redundant, unless... Oh, there's probably more treasures here. Guess you really wanted some more treasures and you wanted to dig them up. So once you dig in, you're gonna have yourself a good time. By God, this is a long episode. I talked about a lot of bullshit. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it, because... It's not gonna happen like that next time. I, I have a feeling we're probably gonna have to start concentrating as we get into more bosses. I'm only dreading the Piliated Snaggeret. I keep doing that I thing, even in real life. I don't even know why. But that being said and done, ladies and gentlemen, join me next time on Pikmin 2's Challenge Mode, where we can take on such areas such as... Oh my god. This looks terrible. The Hidden Garden has zero Pikmin. What even? Huh. Rumbling Grotto. That doesn't sound very promising. Hope you enjoyed it, and... Uh... See you guys next time.